Okay, this is the third one. Now, if y'all remember what I did, is I put two frames of fruit, one frame of fruit, and um, one frame with the two queens. And they've actually been really quiet. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull this one that the queen was on. And again, this is the hive that I, uh, I drilled the holes in um, just to give some ventilation. But I'm going to pull this. I wish I had two hands. The little one trying to get up on me. Get my room in. He's like really actually enjoying that honey on there. So I'm just going to use my hands and go ahead and pull this from him just to see what's going on. And this is on a screen bottom board. Sorry, I don't want to jostle them too much. <clears throat> Goodness. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now, as you can see, with plenty of room, they have built this comb up. Let me see if I can find my queen here. They've been relatively uh, quiet the past couple days, so I'm sure she's busy. Um, But you can see they have been building those cells. There's pollen in there. They've been packing it with pollen for the baby bees. She's probably down in there somewhere. So all of these empty cells. <coughs> Hang on. They're hanging. Let me see if I can get a better. Whoops. I shook some down. I'm just going to rest it on that corner. I don't want to squish them, but this gets heavy. Um, this is a foundation that I pulled from my first hive. And as you can see, this was only a little bit filled in uh, when I pulled it couple days ago as you can see it's got fresh comb already all over it so you know in a denim to what I was saying about the foundations um, if you want a quicker build there you go if you want a slower build then um, you can use the the ones without the foundations, I, which I prefer during the summertime because they are very busy right now. I don't see the queen. Of course, she may be on the other side. I'm going to just kind of turn it around now that I've gotten that corner empty. And there you go. So they've built quite a bit on there as well. Again, I'm looking for her. It seems that some of these have actually decided to stay, which I was curious about. Um, usually when you rehome queens and brood and all 
all that they want to have a tendency to go back to the hive that they came out of which is like right next door but they've got plenty to do you can kind of see um several of the baby bees they're feeding the pollen you can see their little heads poking out there so they're fixing to emerge and they don't fly just yet um you know they have to get their wings dried off um but I'm just going to let you guys see what's going on with this frame. It's all empty honey frame. Pollen. <clears throat> see a little bit of honey in there that they've been gathering for the bees. And again, like my first hive, about a month ago before I split it, I wanted to kind of give you guys a little story. Um, there was so much honey in the flow frames that they were probably about three or four pounds a piece. And now these are, they're very quiet right now. Um, so I had elected to put my the first time I put a deep brood box on I did so with the empty frames and I came back maybe about three days later and the honey was going out of the flow frames in the upper box in the honey super and I thought what in the world well I pulled the honey super set it aside which was virtually empty. And by adding that box, it kind of created a domino effect because it gave the worker bees something to build comb on. And again, the, the hive was honey bound, um, which means there was so much honey in the lower frames and the flow frames that the queen could not lay. So it gave them some work to do building the honeycomb and it gave the drone bees something to do as far as collecting the pollen and it gave the queen bee something to do as far as a place to lay her eggs and make more baby bees so that's where my honey went they had confiscated it from the super and carried it back down through, put it in the honeycombs in the brood box in preparation for when the baby bees hatched. <laughs> so there's the story. And it just kind of domino, had a domino effect. Now my first hive, I did, as you can see, with the drilled holes, put a medium super on because they were about to swarm and I rehomed two queens um, and then one in, well, I rehomed two queen, two in this hive and one in the other. So that prevented the swarming. Um, also, if you do a walk away split, which is a complete uh, brand new beehive, what you can do is, if you set it a little bit farther away, maybe 10 feet away or so, and make a walk-up board to the stand, you can actually simulate a swarm. So what you do is find, this, find the cell, that, or the frame rather, that the queen is on, rehome that frame to the new hive, then you can take two or three of those frames of bees, shake one frame into the hive and the other frame just on the walk up board going into the um, beehive. So what they'll do is they will think that they've swarmed in the shaking motion 
it actually stirs them up and resets their GPS, I call it, their little calibration. And it just kind of shocks them. And so knowing that the queen is in the new hive, what happens is they form like this little line going back and forth and they'll start signaling to the other bees that you've just shaken onto the ground, which, I mean, they'll be completely fine um, as long as they're shaken by the board that goes up into the hive, the new hive. So that just kind of takes care of the swarm. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I'm going to finish inspecting this hive and check on hive number one. I'm not going to do a video on that today because bottom line is I don't have a table to put all the pieces on and if I have to place them on the ground and they start to get a little bit hectic I don't want to have to manage that along with the video camera but this is the mainframe in my second hive. So let me end this. I just wanted to show you guys how much work could be done on a foundation frame within, you know, a couple days to a week. And that is actually both sides. And that's my third hive. And they're all ready for the baby bees. So thank you guys. In this video, I don't want it to be too long. But there's a little bit of information there. On how to prevent a swarm. Also, also in inspection, if you do have queen cells, and I know a lot of people don't, aren't too keen on crushing them. I know that they would rather mate them and put them into, you know, a queen uh, box. But um, if you don't want to lose your bees, you either find something to put her in or that cell has to be inspected and done away with or relocated if you don't want them to swarm. Just a little bit more information. Anyway, love you guys, and thank you for watching this. Have a wonderful day.